eternal pain and darkness of hell without relief. It makes God sad that anyone should end up there. God is holy. He's not codependent. He can't do both sides of the relationship with humanity. People have to respond to him on their own. If we do without God in this life, it becomes sealed in the afterlife. Hell can be a scary thing to think about. Masters talk about hell out of love. To let us know ahead of time what's going to happen while there's still time to repent and change. Out of the heart, the mouth speaks. It shows what kind of character a person has. Trolling someone, trying to get a rise out of them to look cool for one's buddies, shows a lack of character. A big part of growth isn't for us. It's for those around us. There are some things that will take us until we're in our 40s and 50s to learn. Unless we were lucky and had them modeled for us growing up. One of those is our attitude towards others. It's a fantasy to think we don't have to care about how we treat others. When we're caught up in the middle of ourselves or feeding an addiction, it's easy to become consumed by our own needs. Nothing matters except getting what we crave so desperately. We have to lie, cheat, or steal, but that doesn't stop us. We become known as takers, trampling over the feelings and needs of others. Zacchaeus in the Bible had his own idol he worshipped and ran of others' wealth. It led him to betray his own people. He was hated by his own people and considered a thief, an extortioner, and a traitor. But when Jesus reaches out to him, he changes dramatically. Zacchaeus, for the first time in a long time, saw the needs of others and wanted to be a giver. As we begin to see the needs of others and respond by choice, our self-esteem will rise. We can realize that we can give to others instead of just being a burden. On the other side, those who have been giving to others and have empathy with them don't need to give more. They can give up to God whatever area they feel like they missed the mark in and ask him to fill his love and grace.